Breaking news, very disturbing news tonight from the scene of a new wildfire near Yosemite. A Cal Fire air tanker fighting the fire did crash. Happened uh, roughly 4.30 today. And joining us on the phone, Cal Fire spokeswoman Lynn, uh, Lynn Tolmachoff. Lynn, what can you tell us about what's happening? Yeah, you know, I don't have any new details as of yet. Uh, unfortunately, they did find the aircraft had crashed uh, in the vicinity of the fire. Uh, we got crews out there um, to determine the uh, status of the pilot. However, I don't have any more information right now. Lynn, you can tell us a little bit about that terrain. And, of course, this is complicated by the fact that now uh, it's obviously dark. What are they up against in that area, just getting around? Yeah, you know, for starters, you're talking about Yosemite Park, uh, you know, very remote area. Uh, the terrain is steep, uh, lots of vegetation, rocks in the area. Also, the fact that it's right by a fire, uh, that was another contributing factor. Lynn, did, did they simply lose contact or had there been any indication from the pilot that there was a problem? How did it play out? Yeah, you know, that's part of the investigation. Uh, we haven't heard anything on uh, exactly what the status was when uh, the crash occurred. Uh, we just know that the air attack uh, pilot did lose contact with that tanker, and as soon as that happened, he uh, initiated emergency response to locate that aircraft. Lynn, just letting you clarify, we're talking about uh, one pilot, no crew members, correct? Yes, that is generally the case. And what can you tell us about the fire itself? Uh, last we heard there were some evacuations, uh, homes in the area. Uh, what can you tell us about the fire? Yeah, you know, this was in the area where the El Portal a fire occurred earlier this summer. Uh, so the small community of Foresta was uh, evacuated again. However, I believe as night has fallen, I believe things have gotten a little bit better. Are some of those people, uh, do you know, able to return to their homes, Lynn? I believe they were going to try to lift the evacuations. I have not confirmed whether or not they have. Okay. Now, we're looking, just so you know, we're looking at pictures uh, taken a few hours ago, and we're obviously seeing very heavy flames and smoke. Uh, do you know if they're beginning to get a handle on this? Yeah, usually that is what happens at nightfall. Things have cooled down. Uh, the sun has gone, obviously. Uh, humidities are coming up. That's the best time to get, uh, get the hold of that fire. Um, Lynn, I know the rescuers or would-be rescuers have got to be worried about safety, too. I mean, what are they actually doing tonight? Are they out there in the dark? What's happening? You know, their priority was to locate that aircraft and determine uh, what the status of the pilot was. Uh, and fortunately, they have been able to do that. Um, and then they'll continue more of the investigation tomorrow as daylight comes. Okay. So have they suspended the search until morning? Uh, they've actually been able to locate the pilot and the aircraft. Uh, oh, really? But as okay. far as the status goes, they have not released it yet. All right. Well, that's something we weren't clear on. So you're saying that they do know, uh, they know where the plane is. They just can't get there yet. Uh, yes, absolutely. It's very difficult terrain getting into it, and uh, you know it's a dangerous area. Uh, but they have located the plane. All right. And they don't have any details on the status of the plane itself or the pilot, correct? They have, correct. They have not released that yet. Okay. Thank you very much. Again, we're talking to Cal Fire spokeswoman Lynn Tolmachoff. And uh, again, she's making the point that they do know where the air tanker uh, is and the pilot, but that's an area they simply cannot reach. And uh, they will resume the search or resume the rescue operation tomorrow. Thanks very much, Lynn.